Hello, my name is Julia Davis and I uh, am from Baltimore, Maryland. I currently attend George Washington Carver Center for Arts and Technology as a high school senior. And uh, my grandparents, John and Denise Davis, uh, told me about this awesome scholarship opportunity. So let's get into it. The I in I Sparkle stands for inclusion. What I do during English discussions or normal casual conversations with my friend group, uh, I try to include people that are being talked over or uh, aren't like talking and giving them space to input their opinions or to add to the conversation uh, to make sure they're not feeling left out. For example, during like English class, I will like talk to them directly being like, hey, what are you, what's your opinion on this? Or like uh, talking to somebody else and being like, hey, this person hasn't talked in a while. Let's, let's hear what they have to say, and stuff like that. The S in iSparkle stands for support. I show support by showing up for my friends in at their sports events, at their film screenings, at their musicals. I make sure that I'm always there to like congratulate them afterwards as well. Um, a lot of my friends don't have their parents show up for them or like any family members. So I think it's important for me to be there to make like just make sure that they feel loved and that their hard work w is seen and uh yeah the p in i sparkle stands for protect the other day uh in my english class we were having a discussion and there were some things that being said by some of my classmates that were being antagonistic towards people with dyslexia and painting them as dumb and clueless. One of my friends uh, in that class was getting visibly upset and I saw this and I was just like, okay, I need to say something. So in order to protect my friend's feelings, I stood up for her and was like, hey, I feel like what we're saying about dis people with dyslexia is wrong and it's this is not always the case like pe just because you have dyslexia doesn't mean you're dumb or you just don't understand concepts that's not true it's just a different way of brain processing information and uh my friend really appreciated that afterwards and so that is how i protected the r and r i sparkle stands for respect and as a teaching assistant in my school uh i have to respect the teachers and what they want to do for their class and when they give me an assignment to do um, because I know that they are the ones in charge and I have to take a step back and let them do what they gotta do. The K in iSparkle stands for kindness. For context, my school is a public school with a heavy emphasis on the arts, and so there are a lot of underclassmen are, that are looking at the upperclassmen who are making really like ambitious and big art, and they're starting to feel bad about themselves. And I was the same way when I was an underclassman, so I know how they feel. And so to show kindness towards them, I go to their art Instagrams, which like all of them have, and they post their art and I make sure to like and comment and share their art um, to build their confidence. The L in iSparkle stands for Lift Spirits. Um, I am the vice president of the National Art Honor Society at my school. And so the way I lift spirits is by uh, scheduling cool and fun activities for students to do. Um, we have like uh, sketchbook binding demonstra demonstrations where people can come in and learn how to like make their own sketchbook, which they get to keep afterwards. And then also we have sketchbook parties after school where there will be live music and people can just come together and draw on their sketchbooks. And um, I know that artwork at my school specifically can become a chore, so I like to want I want to bring art and make it fun and experimental again. The E in I Sparkle stands for encourage. I encourage all of my classmates and the young underclassmen to make the art that they want to make. Uh, one of my friends actually came to me and was nervous to make art about her eating disorder, but she really wanted to. But she was scared and nervous because she thought she would be like too self-pitying or like she'll get made fun of and like thought of differently. And I told her, it was like, hey, 
if it's art you want to make, you should make it. And so me and her, we called and we worked on our art assignments together and I cheered her on the whole way. And um, I want to encourage her to make the art she wants to make because her story is important and it could really help other people that are going through the same struggles. I want to thank Petrina for uh, giving me this opportunity to talk about my high school career. I want to thank her for also promoting kindness and supporting high school students through this iSparkle scholarship. Thank you and bye-bye!